everyone, I'm Auntie M. And are you ready to explore space? Are you ready to laugh and play? Learn new things every day. Let Auntie M show you the way. Today, I'm at the Rothney Astrophysical Observatory under the starry sky of the Treaty 7 and Métis people. We know so much about space already, like the sun and the moon and the stars, but did you know that we live on a planet inside a galaxy? I'm joined today with my friend Heather, who's gonna help us tour the observatory. Hi, Heather. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Heather. I'm an intern here at the Rothney Astrophysical Observatory, or the RAO. So cool. So cool. We do science here. So, I am a fourth year astrophysics student at the University of Calgary, and we're going to learn about space today. <gasps> That's amazing! How do we learn about space? We learn about space by using telescopes, instruments that allow us to use to observe the sky in many different ways. What? Here at the RAO, we have five research grade telescopes. Five? Yeah. So, wow! Do you want to keep learning? Let's go! Telescope? Well, this is one of the telescopes we have here. It's not a research grade telescope, but it collects light all the same. So this is what we call a Dobsonian. So light comes in through here, goes down to a primary mirror, and is reflected back up to a secondary mirror, and then is reflected out to this here eyepiece. The eyepiece? Can yes. we look through here? We look through here and the light is focused to our eyes. Wow, can I try? You can almost certainly try. Wow, oh my gosh, I can see so close. What do we need to know first? You need to know about planets. Planets? We're standing on one right now. What? Yeah, so our planet is a terrestrial planet. So it's very rocky in nature, but there's other planets such as Jupiter and Saturn, that are jovial or gaseous in nature. Wow, that's amazing! So this is the ARCT telescope. To use it, we open the shutter of the dome. And from there, light passes through to hit the primary mirror. From the primary mirror, it is then reflected to what is called a prime focus. And that is where we have positioned the camera. This camera then takes the picture and then sends it over to the control room where we analyze the data. Heather, I thought we were supposed to look at telescopes. What are we doing here? Well, we're in the ARCT control room. Control room? To control what? To control a telescope. What do you mean? So research grade telescopes, you don't look through with an eyepiece. Unlike the Dobsonian we just saw, we use a camera. We use a special astronomical camera that will detect very small amounts of light. Heather, so telescopes take pictures of stars? Stars and much more. We I take pictures of stars, nebula, galaxies, and much more. Wow, that's amazing. Pictures like that? Exactly like this. Here is a picture that this telescope took. Wow. It's called M101 or the Pinwheel Galaxy, located in the constellation Ursa Major wow. or the Big Dipper. That's so beautiful. Boy, that's really important. So this tells us what's out in outer space? Well, the telescopes observe what's out in outer space, and what is in outer space emits light in many different frequencies. So, in the diagram, you can see on the left, we have very long wavelength forms of light. This is very low energy in comparison to what we have all the way on the right, which is very short wavelengths of light. So, this is very high energy. 
A wavelength is the distance between peaks of a wave, and frequency is how often a wave occurs. Wow, you have been low energy and high energy before, right? You know when you feel really sleepy, it's kind of like one of those big waves. And then when you're really excited, that's like one of those sharp waves. Is that right? Correct. Wow, that's really cool. Do you want to learn a little more? Let's go. Heather, it's so beautiful out here, but why is the sky a little bit lighter over there? So the RAO is located in a dark sky zone, but the city, located northeast of, of the RAO, is very bright and ever-expanding. So this, this city creates a lot of light pollution. And when you say light from the city, do you mean like street lights? We mean everything from street lights to billboards to lights from your house, all of the above. And so if we turn those off just a little bit, we would be able to see the stars better? Absolutely. The less light that is produced is much better for dark sky. That's amazing. Not just look at the stars, but it will help everything from you to the animals. Circadian rhythm is when your body tells you it's, you're awake and you're very energetic, but when it's dark, you get sleepy. Animals wow. have the exact same thing. Wow. So when animals, say the owl that hunts at night, when it's bright at night from this light pollution, it has a lot of trouble. Wow, that's amazing. And really important to make sure that we are lowering our light pollution. Thanks, Heather. welcome people all the time. We have monthly events we call Space Night, which you can find tickets for on our website. And we also have a, many school groups during the year. Wow! Well, Heather, I'm definitely going to come back. This is so much fun and so important to know. Thank you so much for your time today. I had an amazing time. Thank you so much. And if you had fun too, let us know by pressing like, subscribe, or ring the bell. And if you saw something that maybe we didn't, you can always put it in the comments because we love to learn with you. Okay, I'm Auntie M. That's A-U-N-T-Y. Bye-bye.